Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. Hey, Kitty. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. Thank you, Kitty. Appreciate that. A guiding star. Did Polaris know about the hiss? If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's just check if she has other stuff to say real quick. No, we don't. No, I should have said hello before I started the stream. You know, I mean, like, I didn't know we would go through all that conversation as soon as the stream started. But um, hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing well myself, and um, just a little bit of control, as you know, just to 
get through the game. So nothing much is new really, you know, I just figured, you know, I would start streaming again for the day, just so you guys know that I'm alive, and to actually get me to talk, you know, like, I think one thing I realized is, um, you know, this is more like talking to myself, you know, which is also sometimes healthy, you know, just to get it out, but you know how, like, when you go to work, and you constantly, you know, say the same phrases and whatnot? To, to your coworkers, because that's you know, like like if you work in fast food, you say, you know, how am I to take your order, blah blah blah. It feels like you know, sometimes just regular conversation is getting difficult. Like you know, right now I'm like wondering what I should say. So, you know, streaming actually helped me a bit. So I think I should uh, get back into it more often, so I don't have to mumble so much when it comes to conversations. Oh, the lag. So we still can't seem to... There is an achievement for getting every... Uh, killing with headshots, so... Uh, let's... Uh, of course. Get. All right. These armors, they sure take a lot of fucking beating. Ah. God damn. I'm gonna die. Ooh, look at that. Did you see that timing on that? I kind of cheated death real quick. Let me, let me take a quick break. Or oh, I did that. Whatever. That big fucking fail. Okay, let's give that a second try. Hopefully we'll do better this time.
I need to get to an elevator. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. That's, uh... Alright, sorry, sorry. We're in the wrong area. We'll get back real quick. So we did figure out one plot point. Uh, remember how the main character sometimes refers her in the third person? So I guess one of the objects of power is actually currently residing within us right now. This is where the magic happens. I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And then through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries. Authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. As always, doing our due diligence of seeing if there's any collectibles around. Let's try to get the, uh... Ooh. God damn. Ah, motherfuckers.
Hey Freezy Bro, what's going on? Long time no see. Just same old, same old, you know, letting you guys know I'm alive and just a little casual playthrough of control. Nothing much. How about you? Yep, Kitty and Freeze, we hope you're both doing awesome, awesome. Holy moly, they're just like... Oh, are they... You're, are you with them? Like, I know we spoke a little bit about, you know, your situation, Frisbee, so I didn't know how the um, uh, living arrangements were right now when it comes to the young one need to wear them.
HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. That's good. I'm as, glad. Uh, as a uh, life preserver, only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified not water might pour in and you'll be glad you got, a, got an HRA keeping you afloat. Yeah, shut it. I don't think that's where I want to go for now. I'm assuming, so... You know, I never really appreciated the map in this game. I mean, I don't... It's... Ah, there we go. One... Two... That's about right, so we'll go... The music's change, meaning that there's stuff that we want to be able to kill here soon, right? I think what I'll do one stream is collect all the most of the collectibles and just like designate a day to just read them, you know, like because like I think like if, you, if I constantly pause the game just to read the file, I think it kind of like breaks the flow. Kind of like what happened to my um, uh, Bloodstain playthrough. Remember how, like, you know, I wanted to get the um, 100%, but then I spent most of my time just, you know, like, pausing the game constantly just to see where we can get the next, um, uh, next enemy. You know, to, to uh, get those shards that we used to collect back when we were playing it. But is it a game that I want to go back to? Definitely. We'll play that. Uh, eventually. Like, one of the things about me was I used to be a, a trophy collector back in the day. And I uh, missed out on so many games because, you know, it might sound stupid, but, you know, just my, um, I guess, OCD at the time kicking in. Like, I didn't play certain titles because I knew the trophies would be hard to get. But having said that, I'm still glad that um, The Last of Us 2 does not have multiplayer in it, you know. So when we do eventually play it, it'll be just straightforward playing at a leisurely pace I think they say something like they'll release the uh, multiplayer aspect of it separately which is fine by me I'm wondering if this is an object of power that we came too soon 
maybe we're not at that part of the game yet. Alright, so this is in the research center. We'll make a mental note of it. Hey, Bobby, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I think you're you're right. Um, Frisbee. I think just certain games are more um, streamer friendly, if you will, than other titles are. I I think we'll replay Resident Evil Two sometime next month again too, like a story run. You know, but not, I'm I'm done with speed running that game because. It is kind of stressful, but we'll go through like a story run, you know, reading all the files for that game. Just in preparation for, you know, Resident Evil 3, like we always talk about. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. And I just realized we have yet to find a control point for this section of the map. I do wish I could save. Eventually, if possible. How's your day so far, Bobby? No, but seriously, where's the um, save point? Okay, that's the door we just came out of. Anything here? Now, although I did say most of the files would be read later because, you know, it kind of breaks the flow of everything, I do probably admit that we're missing a lot out on the story, that's for sure. Ah, speak of the devil.
Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. So we did get... That's always helpful. Just a second guys, I'm just trying to figure out um the little benefits of this uh, new form real quick. I think, what is it, it's a spin? So I guess it's like a... Um... Grip and shatter. Most information on the Oh, I like that. I like that. That's what we're going to go with. No justice. Now, the white non space. So it acts as like I guess the grip weapon. And I just figured out that's what they call it. So it acts as like a all-in-one weapon if you will, right? Cuz what we've been using the pistol and shotgun version of the weapon and I guess right now it's the uh, SMG. So I wonder if that spin or the last thing I got, I wonder if that's an assault rifle form. Now I'm here, but uh, if you guys can give me a quick break real quick, you know. I'm not proud of it, but getting a little nicotine in the system, if you will. So it is like, I think like four something here, where I'm currently located. I do try to, I think what I'll do is, um. For me, seven o'clock is kind of like the deadline for me to, you know, got to do, you know, real life stuff. So I think what I'll do is try to, um, even if it delays other stuff, because what I do is whenever I do get back home, I try to do a couple of things before I start streaming. But that just takes up so much time. So I think what I'll do is I'll start streaming as soon as I get back from work. That way, you know, like even if I do stream for like a couple hours, it's still six o'clock because, and I appreciate you guys coming, but. You know, as you guys know, I don't stream consistently, and without that consistency, I can't interact with you guys as much as I want to, nor can I, you know, you know, get get more uh, people and, you know, lack of actually being able to talk, you know, even if it's just us here, you know. You know, keeping it real, because, like, what I used to do is, like, what I did yesterday is, like, you know, just come home sometimes, you know, just go to sleep right away, that's not really healthy. You know, back in the day, first time when I separated from my family, what I would do is I would go to work, come back home, and go straight to bed, and wake up next day to go back to work. And, you know, that wasn't living, you know, that's not really... And, you know, age is catching up to me. You know, like, sometimes, like, I think, like, I was like 10 years younger. So the stuff I, I can do, you know, but. Like playing like um, heavy duty RPGs, you know, is something I want to do, but, you know, I don't think that's something we can do on stream. So that was about 10 minutes of real talk with uh, Jin. <laughs> oh god. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place. Not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then, one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. 
native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fume, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Hey, Doctor, thank you for the slideshow. You know what they say about death by PowerPoint? Nobody's interested in that bullshit. I wish there was a POV mod for the game. You know, sometimes I feel like the camera is just a little bit too close to the character, if you will. Like, I wish we could move it back a bit. You know, because I do like to be able to see my surroundings a little bit more, but... I can't believe they keep that thing here. What is that? You, you failed to explain to me what that is. Sounds like an annoying furball, Furby or something. Oh god, did I just... Okay, that's exactly what we don't want to do, I mean... I mean, that's what we want to do in real life, you know, quarantine ourselves in until help arrives, but I don't know what that did. What are we doing? Ah! Okay, okay, I see it. Going down? No. Am I supposed to trap it in there? Getting here. What was the Bureau doing with that thing? 
Ah. Look at that. We figured it out. Someone answer, damn it. We need backup down here. Hmm. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. You know, when they say hive cluster, it tends to remind me of StarCraft a bit. You know, your hive cluster is under attack. And it's all. Oh, oh wow, and as always, something is wrecking me. You wait right here, guys. I'll be right back. I don't care what you guys say, that wasn't cheating. <laughs> So we'll just make our way back as if nothing happened and hopefully we'll be able to clear them this time. Uh, this way. Now you would think I would have a bit more sense of direction when it comes to this game, but I'm just running around all over the place. I, don't, I mean, it is what it is. Whoop! Hey, Eagle! Long time no talk. What's going on? Hope you're doing fine. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, to let everybody know, I'm still alive, basically. You know, surviving like everybody else is. Yeah, I tried to play a bit of a uh, Death Stranding a few weeks back. Yeah, that um, the you know a lot of the actors and actresses in that game you know really intrigued me into playing, but that FedEx Simulator got tiring real quick. I mean, uh, hopefully I can get back into it eventually, but you know, just um, considering the length of time I stream, you know, which isn't long, I thought you know just to. It'd be easier to play something like this, you know, where it's just quick, action-y, if you will. Ooh. Oh, massive slowdown.
We're just literally cheesing this dude. Oh, of all the times to... Alright, let's go ahead and clean this area. Oh, it's um from Remedy. You know the guys that made uh hey, I'm pretty sure you know more than I do, but you know the Max Payne Quantum Break guys. So obviously, you know, the game's gonna look good and whatnot, and it does. It, it actually runs pretty good, you know, when I We've encountered heavy resistance. We've fallen back to the left department. All agents are ordered to converge here. You know, when the game first came out I heard like there's like frame rate issues and whatnot, but right they actually Overall, it runs smooth, you know, like except for that slowdown we just saw, but not complaining, not complaining. I think last year, less than a year old for sure, I think it came out like in September. Less than a year old. What you, oh. 